I recently completed a 72 hour fast and in this video I'm going to share my entire experience with you including why I did it, what exactly I did and also the benefits that I realized during and after the fast. I'm going to break it all down in this video. So uh, I was inspired to do the fast for a number of different reasons. One, which has kind of always been there, is I've always heard fasts are positive things to do for our bodies, right? Um, years ago, I read somewhere that digesting food is one of the most energy draining things that our body can do, right? It taxes our body to digest food. And when we're constantly putting food in there, we're never giving our body a chance to do other things with that energy, right? And kind of clean up and do some cellular repair and get into our fat stores and things like that. So I knew that all along that fasting was good. I mean, a lot of people preach the positive benefits of fasting, but I really never uh, I never undertook it, right? I may, Maybe a day or so at the most, but not anything like a 72 hour fast by any means. And the other reason that I wanted to do this fast is I was inspired by a good friend of mine, and I'll link to her YouTube channel down below. Her name's Tiffany Falvey. She just recently completed, now wait for it, a 21 day fast. Yes, a 21 day fast. And I watched her through that whole thing. Now. That's insane. That's incredible. And I told her this after I finished my three day fast. I said, I'm blown away by the fact that you did a 21 day fast. And you know what she said? She said, once you get to a certain point, then your body doesn't, is not hungry anymore, right? It switches. It sounds like it switches into a different type of state, right? Because, and I'll share this with you as we get into the video, I'll talk about when my hunger craving started, right? And what I experienced there and when I was really ready to break my fast, right? So those are the couple reasons that I was inspired to do it. I knew the health benefits and I also was inspired by her specific journey. So let me just tell you kind of exactly what I did and how it went down. I'm gonna walk you through the whole sequence. And again, we're gonna talk about some of the physical benefits and some of the psychological benefits that I realized after the fast. So before I started my fast, on the, on the evening before I started my fast, I had a pretty healthy dinner. And this was just by accident, kind of. I didn't plan on this, right? But I had two black bean burgers and a big thing, well, not a big thing, but a, a tray of a bowl of cold slaw. It was delicious, right? I think that helped me get through the fast without a lot of hunger cravings, especially the first couple of days. So if you're going to do a fast, maybe consider eating something that's hearty and going to stick with you at least to get you past the first few days of your fast. You know, go in with something that's going to stick to your stick to your bones, so to speak. So that's what I ate before the fast. And then on, on the Thursday morning, I started my fast and I only drank water in, for three days. In the mornings, I'd have warm water to kind of give me the feeling that I was drinking hot tea or hot matcha, which I've been really enjoying lately. Um, but I just drank the warm water and then I would drink cold water throughout the day and I would go to the water every time I was getting a little craving or wanted to a little satiate myself or kind of if I felt like I was going to emotionally wanted to emotionally eat, I would go to that water and I would drink some water. So the first day was super cake. I had no cravings whatsoever. I didn't even think about food. I was just going on the fast and, and it went by very quickly. The second day was also really cake. I didn't think about food at all. I wasn't really hungry at all. Maybe a little bit toward the end of the day, but for the most part, it was really cake. The third day is when, when things start to happen. So when I woke up on the morning of the third day and I got out of bed and I stood up, I had a little rush, right? A little, a little very, short-lived but a little spinning of the head and a little dizziness but it went away very quickly and i attribute that to the fact that i hadn't been eating for a couple days also on the third day in the afternoon of the third day i started to get rumbling stomach and i started to get a little bit hungry and as the day went on i started to fantasize about food right and i never really fantasized about food <laughs> so i started to think about what i was going to eat after i broke my fast the next day and I started preparing what I was going to eat for the next day, which is melons, again, based on Tiffany's um, experience and her knowledge around fasting and diet and, and that sort of thing. So I picked up a couple of big, nice, ripe cantaloupes and cut them up. I No, I didn't cut them up until the next day because I, I didn't want to tempt myself, right? But I had them on deck, right? So 
The day to break my fast after it's three full days, 72 hours came and I was eager to get into this melon. I was so excited. Cut up the melon and I pretty much ate probably three quarters of the melon right away. I was really hungry and I was really satiating. It was super juicy, super, um, super delicious. And I just ate a lot of that melon. Then I ate that m most of the rest of the day and then had a small salad that evening. And I felt really good. But I didn't really feel yet at that point any increase in energy or vitality or you know ne necessarily a difference the way the way that I felt. I didn't realize those benefits until a couple days afterwards. I started noticing that my stomach felt tighter, my my uh, my midsection felt less bloated, and it also felt like um, just more pleasant right it wasn't there wasn't anything um it wasn't uncomfortable in any way shape or form i felt a little more um a little little tighter my clothes fit a little bit better um and i just felt felt you know better overall on on the fourth and fifth day those started to happen and even into the sixth day and then i just ate a little cleaner throughout those those other few days as i got back to my normal eating routine which is pretty clean in general occasionally i'll indulge in a snack or uh, some kind of a potato chip or a little bit of cashew milk ice cream something like that But generally I keep it pretty clean and I don't need a lot of garbage by by any means so The other thing that I want to share with you in this video is something that I really didn't expect To experience and that was some psychological benefits some positive psychological benefits and what happened was Going into the fast. I was a little bit fearful I was a little bit afraid right I, I was thinking to myself you know am I really gonna be able to do this right do I have the discipline to make this happen and turns out I did right it was a it was an unfounded fear which I think a lot of things in life we think they're gonna be worse than they are and they never really are right right we think it's gonna be worse and, and it never really comes to fruition a lot of our like Mark Twain said right a lot of the things that we fear it never even happen, right? We never even, we waste all this time and energy thinking about them and they never really even happen. One thing that I gained from this experience is I do feel more disciplined. One, I feel more disciplined in the diet area and also in the exercise area to get up every morning and do some exercise and also eat clean. And also I will do another fast. Definitely a 72 hour fast, maybe a little bit longer, but because of the positive benefits, the physical benefits and also the psychological benefits, it built a lot of discipline in me and it kind of made me realize that, hey, I'm in charge of my body and I'm in charge of the food that I put in and I don't need to listen to the hunger cravings of my body and eat every little snack or divert time away from creating the things I want to see in the world and doing my work in the world, those kind of things to to eating. I, I haven't... I don't feel that that's a big thing for me anyways, but hey, any little extra incentive or extra discipline you can build around food is awesome, right? Because food is a major point of uh, distraction for people and it's like satisfying and it can really, obviously at the, at the far end of the spectrum, it can be very detrimental when people can be overweight and eating really horribly and their body chemistry is all out of balance and they're actually addicted to food, right? I wouldn't uh say that that's a problem for me because i uh i'm fortunate in that aspect but i do like food and i do like delicious things and so realizing that discipline that i'm in charge and i don't need to put into my body all these different foods at different at specific points in the day you know it made me a little stronger as a person right and so that was something that i did not foresee that the the mental or psychological discipline that this experience you know let, have help help me build right so i just want to share that with you if you're thinking of doing a fast of any kind i really encourage you to do it you know don't worry about that fear uh like i said a lot of things that i feared about it oh what am i going to do if i don't eat three meals a day and oh what 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 am i going to drink in the morning if i don't drink my matcha or a cup of chai tea or something like that um what how am i going to hang out with other people right just tell them you're on a fast and say hey look i'm doing this fast your family and friends and they'll support you right i mean they may get a little kickback but hey you're doing it for your health and wellness right and go for it if you're thinking about it go for it i'm going to link to a super awesome video from one of my favorite new health and nutrition youtubers his name is dr Sten ekberg and he breaks down all of the 
like behind the scenes things on like a cellular and molecular level that are going on in your body when you do a fast. It's super awesome. And he talks a lot about the benefits of fasting, right? 12 hour fast, 18 hour fast, 24 and up to 72. He talks about this window where things will start to change in your body and your body will start to get into those fat reserves and you'll start to do some cellular cleanup and do some other things that it doesn't have time to do when we're always putting food into our body and your body has to focus on digesting that food, right? So it's really fascinating. I'm gonna link to that video in the description down below. And like I said, I'll also link to Tiffany's YouTube channel. She's got a lot of awesome knowledge and wisdom and uh, sharing with you, with you to help you have a better life, right? So thanks so much for watching this video. Before I let you go, I want to invite you to subscribe to my email list at gmarkphillips.com so you can stay in touch and I can share more insights and ideas like this to help you have a better experience and that's a weekly email that I send out. I'll put the link in the description down below, but you can get there from gmarkphillips.com slash subscribe. I'd love to have you on my email list. And last but not least, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would be super awesome. I really appreciate it. Until next time, all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.